Hi, and welcome to the Crazy Sexy Food Podcast. I'm Hannah Harley Young. This show is all about the love of food and how it plays a part in our lives. I sit down with well known personalities, food experts, chefs, and people who, well, just love their food to find out all about their life, career, and their favorite tastes along the way. Today is a really exciting one. I have three gentlemen who defined my early teens, the one, the only, Busted. Charlie, Matt and James blasted on the music scene in the early 2000s with their pop punk mix that had us all up on the dance floor, namely my school discos because I was about 13 at the time. They have had four number one hits, won two Brit Awards, released four studio albums and sold over five million records worldwide. They are known for hits such as What I Go to School For and my personal favourite, Year 3000. After a bit of a hiatus, the boys are back. They have a new album, a tour, and are collaborating with some of the biggest names in the music industry. 13-year-old Hannah is absolutely (laughs) screaming. Boys, what a joy this is. Welcome to Crazy Sexy Food. I wish I could could wake up to that. (laughs) Yeah. Record that. That Shall I record that for you? It's like a pep talk, isn't it? (laughs) It's like, good morning. You're yeah. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to it when you're in the cold plunge. Yeah. It's like, it's yes. like the, uh, do you ever watch Sabrina the Teenage? Yes. Like the clap cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, well, but guys, seriously, reference. this is this is a big dream for me because I was that 13-year-old girl, you know, sitting on the side of the room at the school disco, hoping that a guy might, you know, come and ask me to dance. And you were on the speakers. And um, yeah, this is a moment. So thanks for joining me. Thanks, thanks for having us. Man. Um, I always start my conversations with asking, what did you have for breakfast this morning? Did any of you eat? It's I a bit early. I haven't eaten thing yet. Yeah, I'm actually no. on a fasting regime, so I'm, I'm not eating till lunch. Yeah, none of us have eaten anything. <laughs> That's a good, no, fasting, good thing. Yeah. Yeah. You enjoying it? Yeah, I have, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really, but I... Um, <laughs> no, it's horrendous. But I, yeah. Yeah, it's month, we, we, we start tour in a few weeks, so I've uh, got to be tour ready. Um, so I'm like doing a keto diet with intermittent fasting. Oh, so. wow. oh gosh, yeah, keto. Quite full on, That's yeah. quite extreme. Yeah, yeah. But um, usually I would have a um, bowl of cereal, maybe. Maybe some eggs. Okay, nice and healthy. Yeah. <laughs> so as I mentioned in the intro, you do have a lot coming up. You've got the new album coming out. You've got a tour in the autumn. I mean, what does it feel like to be back in the thick of it all? Um, it really feels like it right now. Like James arrived yesterday and it kind of feels like we pressed the bus. Gets button. real when I arrive. Yeah. Two days late. Yeah, he was two days late. Oh, right, okay. Me God, the, we're lucky to actually have you here today, he James. Really, it's you know, a miracle. Like, like I'm just as lucky. I'm just as lucky to be here. Yeah, <laughs> Sam. He slept at my house just to make sure he was here. Yeah, but, we're, um, we're confiscating his passport as well. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah. It's terrifying. It like that. I don't it's know how I would live without my passport. It's actually quite scary. Yeah. So yeah, but like you know, in terms of sort of you, you're you're back, you've got a tour, you've got the you've got the album, um, you, you're collaborating with some really exciting people. I mean, the Jonas Brothers have remixed the Year Three Thousand. I mean, yeah, what's we were, it yeah. like, sort of working with all these guys? We um, we, we we had we because basically the, the reason it's so crazy at the moment is because it's our twenty year anniversary. Obviously, uh, so we're releasing a greatest hits um, album, and we decided to do re-record all the old songs. And sort of reimagine them and then release two albums one with just us and then the other uh, every track has a, a feature artist um and it was kind of a crazy idea that we thought okay um will this work probably not because it would be impossible to get that many artists to do it but amazingly we did and we've been able to work with some incredible people yeah um so it's like yeah, yeah it's, it's just pr- pretty much everyone we approached said yes yeah yeah which Love is cool that. i, I don't mean, the think, Jonas yeah. brothers took a long time to reply yeah. Okay. You know, we were like, because that's year 3000, and they covered that in the States. Yeah, so they actually, that was one of their first so, songs they ever released. So ah, they, I didn't know it's a song, that. Song, song. They broke, so they bro- broke them, that yeah, song. Yeah. So, I didn't even know that. Yeah. That wasn't yeah. in my research. All right, yeah. okay. Yeah, so that's why we wanted to have them. Got you. You know, so we were like holding out. We had this one space for like year Yeah, 3, and we wouldn't, you, we weren't going to have anyone else. If they said no, we would have just left that. Okay. Up. So yeah. Sort of, and then late in the day, they said, okay, we're up for this. And we're like, yeah, no. I was in the cinema watching Bo is Afraid, and text message came in from Charlie saying that they had agreed and uh, made a loud noise when I shouldn't have done. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone was very angry with me. And then he was asked yeah. to leave. <laughs> it was a very serious film and <laughs> yeah. sad film. I'm like jumping with joy in the middle of my aisle. I love that. I love that. Well, listen, yeah. best of luck with everything. What can we expect from the tour? Um, I think if you're a Busted fan 
um, you're going to get everything you could possibly want. Fabulous. Oh, by the way, the intro to the to the show is going to blow. Let's not mind. talk no, about no, that. No, let's no, keep no, it a secret. It. I, I love it. Saying, James is the one saying let's not I talk know, about I mean, it. Can you give us like one word that no, is going to describe it? I would say it's it's going to blow. Awesome. I mean, intros to us are quite important. Like setting up the show. Okay. Is a really important thing, I think. You know, and we we went we went all in. Okay. And oh it's, my um, God. And it's, it's the set. ultimate way that we can it's, hope to ever ever hope to start. We can a never stop show. it ever again. Yeah. It's it's amazing. I think th- th- I think that it was weird. Like when we started speaking about is the twentieth anniversary, and you know the idea for the re-record, the album, the features, everything. It's sort of like everyone kind of got their head. We kind of all got on the same page. It was going to be a special year, time for to pull out like you know all the stops, do some special things. And it was like, we have to do something good for the tour. We have to do something special to kick it off. And we basically thunk up our dream thing and 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 made it happen. Yeah. Which really was cool. which was That's like, it. No more. No more. Okay, more. that's it. Yeah. Basically yeah. Get, get, get your tickets yeah, yeah, yeah. and, and, and you see for yourselves. Yeah, yeah. So I want to take it back a little bit. I want to take it back to your childhood. You were all born and raised in different places. Mm. Charlie, you were in Suffolk. Yes. We've just been talking about yeah. uh, all those wonderful areas. Uh James, Essex, Matt, you're south of the, born in South of the River in Tooting. Yeah. I want to know what life is like growing up for all of you, but kind of talking about it from the food aspect, you know, what was on the table, who was cooking, was food of importance? Let, let's start with you. Um, I mean, I'm the worst person to start. <laughs> um, That's was, fine. Food was an absolute chore in my house. Like my my mum, bless her, is a, is a terrible cook. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't listen to this, mum. But I mean, it was, it was every night at dinner, just like, oh no. Oh, really? <laughs> you know, like, I, I, I mean... If we could have waffles and beans every day, I would have been stoked because, like, she would sometimes put something in front of you and it was terrible. Like, she, we, like, she would make a bolognese, but she'd get frozen mints from the freezer, right? Like well, a bag of frozen. Before. No, no, fro- frozen still, and she'd bash it with a with a wooden spoon to break up the ice. Like, she'd leave it in there for an hour or two, bash it up, it's still still ice, right? right? And then put Dormio sauce or Tesco's Value version. As it's sauce. frozen. As it's frozen on the top and stick it in the oven, hope for the best. Oh, wow. You know? wow. And then she okay. kind of get it out, stir it, and put it on your plate. <laughs> I had um, some Matt, spaghetti I, that was so overcooked. It was like, just Matt, gross. I had that at your house. I know, you? I know you did. I, know I you actually did. experienced it. Oh, yeah. did you? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I, went yeah. To, I went to the house and we ate that for dinner. And I, and you know, I, I, quite, didn't, I quite liked it, to be honest. Yeah. I, I, I won't try having that for 16 years. Okay. You know, and um, yeah, it was like, I mean, vegetables were non-existent. Yeah. Like, oh you God. know, it was... Um, um, <laughs> Wait, I can't believe bean. I remember that. Yeah. Oh, we yeah. have backup here. I mean, I'm, I'm just sort of trying to get over the sort of the frozen meat going into know, the oven. I, I'm like, I'm like, I can't yeah. think of anything worse than that. Like, yeah. I mean, I, I love cooking. Like, cooking's a big part of my life. I'm, I'm not very good, but I do love it. And, um, and the thought of doing that is just beyond my comprehension but she was um you know doing her best to what she had yeah absolutely you know. what about you charlie um so yeah my mum is a good cook she um cooked a lot of my stuff i looked forward to our sunday roast every sunday it was a big part we'd all sit down together as a family um i hated nothing more than a sunday roast really? why that was the worst really that was when well, because the chicken was also was frozen when, <laughs> yeah, that was when shit hit the pan literally yeah. like you know like, when she tried a sunday roast it was like no don't go there yeah yeah it was gravy yeah. with lumps in it i still think that's my mom's roast is so char uh, sorry james on the end is literally like did you have the sunday roast as well i was laughing at how loudly you laughed at your own joke <laughs> <laughs> oh, da- darling I'm, if, if yeah. no one else is gonna yeah. laugh i'm gonna be <laughs> laughing at everything says james. <laughs> <laughs> i know because i relate to that because i laugh oh, i know at, yeah. i laugh at all my jokes so yeah. i think i'm like, hilarious oh. actually yeah. he's yeah. laughing yeah, I, know. I think he's laughing at me, actually. Okay, so Charlie, sorry, it's so a Sunday roast. We're kind of the thing that you looked forward to yeah, every and week. I still, and I still do when I go home. Okay. I, I love um, I love my mum's roast. It's amazing. And, and, and James, what about you? What sort of defined your childhood um, when it came to food? Honestly, well, my mum my mom was excellent in the kitchen. I always remember feeling, well, I mean, you don't really, when you're, when you don't, when you live at home and you're a child, That's what you get. You, you, it's like you don't appreciate it really until maybe you move to London yeah. with a band. Uh, and, <laughs> and you eat day. pizza a go-go every <laughs> night. Um, but like, uh, no, like I had good food in my house. It was like... I went, I, I went to live with James when I was 16. I moved into his house, his spare mm. room. And I, I was amazed at what was really? served here overnight. It was incredible. 
It's nice. Yeah. Like, what are we talking? Like, give give me some examples. No, Sundays, great, Sundays great kind was of typical like, British dinners. But yeah, they were well, done was, really well. It was, it nice. was like Sundays was nice roast dinner day, um, and then other nights of the week, it was always you know it was never, it was always like changed up in a nice way. I I I thought I got I got good I got a good hand when it comes to you know food at home. Okay. Yeah. And so then, sort of present day, you said you cook a lot at home. It's yeah. it's important for you, but yeah. you say you're not a great cook. Why do you think I that? Mean, I'm okay. I mean, I follow a recipe. Okay. You know, like I don't really I, I when I try and explore, everything goes a bit wrong. But, right. Um, but I do. I mean, I've got a, a one cupboard in my house, which is like as big as this wall, which is just full of cookbooks. Oh, wow. oh love gosh. Cookbook. Okay. I was a real collector. What, what, what's your favorite at the moment? Um, my favorite at the moment is um, on your plate. I think it's called. Is it on your plate? I can't remember, but it's like a seasonal one, and it's amazing. Like it's incredible. My kids hate it when I cook something from it because <laughs> it's a bit out there. <laughs> But um, but I love it. My kids don't really like what I've set them either. So what do you like cooking? Like what what's like your signature meal? I love a barbecue more than anything. Oh, okay. Like I've got a big green egg, and yes. I take it very seriously. Okay. You know, and it's um it's my favorite thing to do. Okay. I did some roast chickens on it a couple of nights ago, and they were unbelievable. Like incredible. I've yet to Smoked put a chicken chickens. on a barbecue. Well, I bought those things that you stuff up their butt. Those little like. Bigger. No, 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 it's like a, it's like a, like a metal sphere that you shove up the bum. <laughs> but like, like a beer can, but you yeah, could yeah. use a beer can. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You can use a beer can. Yeah, yeah. It makes it so yeah. moist. Yeah. yeah, it's delicious. Fantastic. Delicious. What about you guys, Charlie, James? Do you do you cook a lot these days? I, I cook quite a lot. Yeah, um, I really enjoy cooking. I feel like I'm quite selective with the food I eat, though. So I, I don't really eat fish, so I don't ever cook fish. Um, but I love Mexican food, so that's the thing I would sort of cook the most because I just love Mexican food mm. um, and then I like, enjoy barbecuing as well yeah in the pandemic I got good at using the barbecue because I did it every day because mm. <laughs> you're, you're in LA you're also living in LA as well so and you know James you've got a... food choices around him <laughs> are so yeah, good yeah I spoil I, 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 I eat out quite a lot which I probably should do less of but um, James, how many Let's be honest. How many times have you used your kitchen at your house? How many times? Have you turned, oh, that, it's all coming how, how, how out now, isn't it? How many times have you it? turned your oven on? I mean, <laughs> when, when 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 the lockdown began, I made some uh, pasta. I made some chicken nuggets in the oven. You made some, or wow. you yeah. just heated some? Heated some. I heated nuggets. some. Yeah. Um, you realised you had a kitchen, and that was the yeah. first time you used your kitchen. And that was the first time I used my kitchen. I used my kitchen really, you know, making drinks maybe, or. Uh, <laughs> Like, yeah, you know, like going yeah. to the going to the fridge, you know, or the freezer to get the drink to get the ice cream yeah, out yeah. the freezer. Okay. But like, yeah, yeah. I, I don't really like make. I, you know, I don't. You know, I think I just spend my time doing other things. That's but fair. I, but I, but when I did cook in the pandemic, I did quite like it. I just. But you do enjoy food. I love. I yeah. mean, I like good food. I like going yeah, yeah. to good places to get yeah. great food. Where Where are some of your favorite places to eat? Uh, La Bodega Negra. La Bodega Negra yeah, is yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah. love it there, which I used to be an that. old strip club. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and you go downstairs and it yeah. like looks yeah. like a strip bar. Yeah, and you it's a great place. I really like a sister food. restaurant in LA, um, Choco Madero. Yeah. It's I didn't know it was a, they had a oh, sister over there. Yeah. They also have one, they also... That place is amazing. They might have one in New York. Oh, they, they definitely have one in LA. Which oh, wow, and okay. They serve amazing cocktails and the food's really I couldn't believe how good that restaurant was. Yeah. Where do you like eating in LA? I like that place that Charlie just said. I like, I mean, I go, I, to be honest, I kind of go to a lot of places. But, you know, I like, um, there's a place that I went to recently, actually, uh, on on Beverly called Burger She Wrote. Oh, yeah, I went there with you. Brilliant name. That was incredible. And Brilliant it's a name. Great very, very good. Burger She Wrote. Yeah. That's genius. It's a so great good. place. It's a great place to get a good burger, a smash burger. And then, um, it's very good. You know, I go to a place actually uh, called Air One. Oh, oh, that's very yeah. bougie of you. Is it bougie? Oh, yes, it is. It's well, more expensive than Whole Foods. Yes. But I'm a member, which means well, you, I'm a, okay. Sorry. Actually, so it's like a. It's for anyone who might not know. It's a very sort of high end, yeah. organic, yeah. natural yeah. Yeah. food store. Yes, and but, they have a membership. Yes, and the membership kind of makes it the same price as Whole Foods. <laughs> you know. But because, then you, okay. The okay. Is? The membership's like a couple hundred a year. Yeah. yeah. So so if you if you go there a lot, it's actually really worth it. They don't have that in the UK, right? No. no they don't. 
They don't. But it's, I it's love good... it there. When I go to LA, see James, we go there immediately and, and we stock up on loads of cool stuff. And is it sort of like, because I always find when, I remember when Whole Foods finally arrived in the UK yeah. and we all had this vision that it was going to be all like natural health foods and like yeah. this shit that they sell in there. I know. I mean, it's so like the, their crisps selection yeah. is elite. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Just the, like, just like, just like their toothpaste <laughs> selection is elite. Yeah. It's like, what is Do they this have weird that charcoal one? Powder thing yeah. That you, like, like put on your toothbrush. It's just like they have things in there. You're like, what on earth? I'm getting it just to try it. You know, what is it That's like? That's how they get you in. They're like, yeah. oh, I haven't seen this I one before. I still think in LA, I still think that the best burger in the world, and the burger wars are a big contentious issue among, you know, among people, yeah. but I still think the In N Out burger. Is the best burger. Do in the world. you? I do. I just. Yeah, I, it, I, I just. Do love it. It's not the most. It's it's quite simple burger. But I just feel like In and Out Burger is the burger that all burgers should be judged by, regardless of how fancy they get. It's just the. It's the mecca. Of Simplicity burger. of it. It's mm. just so it's, good. The yeah. chips are incredible. They've got it down. They have. Do you have it with the animal sauce? No, I don't. I don't. Interesting. I okay. I don't like mayonnaise related sauces. But um, <laughs> the amount of times I've seen Charlie scraping mayonnaise on yeah. bread. It's yeah. funny you say that. You're actually yeah. the second person though. I've interviewed that has a major issue with mayonnaise. I do, massive. Yeah. But I love chili sauce. Like I'm a yeah. big, big into my chili sauce. So I would have that um, over, over anything else. Sorry, J just, James is just um, helping himself to his own personal little we, uh, we, we go there every time. water fountain. Yeah. Okay, so I sort of... Before we sort of go back into the food again, you know, your career started in the early 2000s, which is, I think, a very different time to nowadays. How would you describe those days? We're talking, it's what, 2003, uh, 2002, 2003. You know, there's no social media. There's no kind of all the madness that we're living in now. What was that experience like for you guys? Better. <laughs> that doesn't. I was expecting that answer. No, I, yeah, it was. It was. Know. I mean, it was better. I mean, I mean, you didn't really know any different. You yeah. Know, like I remember, like our manager was like he tried to get us to go on this forum once. It was like a fan forum. <gasps> and, um, old and I had a secret name. You said forum, was, funny. Forum. 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 <laughs> forum. <laughs> forum. Forehead. <laughs> well, forum, I, was, well, I remember like in 2000 like 2001 I remember if you ever went on an internet chat room it was almost like frowned upon to even reveal your own name now we all have our pictures and our like everything like yeah. right. our passport yeah. like, number like, everything like, like, the, the, the forum or the forum was a, was a huge thing back then <laughs> you know that's how band fans sort of talk to each other and now you think about it Twitter and all the rest of it it's just one huge global forum but did you also feel like, I mean, I didn't know about these forums, forums, whatever you want to call it. Um, but, you know, nowadays we can get super close to the people that we love. You know, every artist, actor, whatever. Yeah. You feel like you kind of know them yeah. through social yeah. media platforms. But did you feel like in those days, you know, you guys sort of became really successful, but there was still that barrier between you and the fans? Or did you, or did you feel like it was still similar today, like you could still access them in that way? No, I think there was there was a definite a definite barrier, you know. But I quite liked that. Mm. And I liked that about people that I was into. You know, I liked it being slightly mysterious. You know, I didn't know what they were doing. Yeah. You know, or like yeah. you'd, and like I'd buy a magazine because my favorite band was on the front of it yeah. or something. You know, yeah. like to read about them. You know, and like when an album came out, you'd read everything inside. Oh, of the sleeve, those. You know, they were the best. You to know but it's kind of cool though that you know you got vinyl is making a big resurgence. Yeah. So I'm glad that I I, th I feel like, um, you know, that isn't gone completely. So Whenever anyone mentions anybody to me, I go on their Instagram page. Yeah. You know, now it's such a weird thing, and I'm it's... like, who are this person? All right, okay, I see who they are. Yeah. Oh. You know, it's a weird thing. No, you know? no, but absolutely. I, I, don't, I don't dislike it. I love social media. You know, like um, I do, I do enjoy it. You know, I, I, I look at it a lot. Yeah. You know, so it's like it's not like I, I hate it or anything. There's also I think it has changed everything. You know, like the accessibility you have to people now is so different. There yeah. isn't that mysterious kind of like. No, you know, but, you, but, it, but, but you know, we can we can. We can get, we can reach our fans much easier. So there's big upsides as well. Yeah. You can com communicate with them. Um, you know, we could say to, we're going to do a gig in uh, Common Garden today and just get people down there within two hours. Yeah. Like that could never have happened. Back then. Of course, so, of yeah. course. And sort of as sort of, I guess we're suddenly talking about technology, but that's evolved over the years. How would you say your music has evolved sort of with the times? Um, I think we're constantly kind of searching. You know, I mean, we're kind of, you know, that's kind of the great thing about being a band and being artists. It's kind of like you, you're you constantly influenced by new things and you uh, or old things, you know, like anything can kind of like change and kind of evolve. You know, I think we're kind of going through that right now. We're kind of exploring 
who is busted right now? You know, and where, what are we in today's kind of like sphere of music and, and where, where do, where do we want to go? You know, rather than what is the market and where do we fit into it? It's like, what do we want to do and where would that fit? Mm. You know? And I guess, you know, as you sort of approach the tour, you've obviously been recording, what would you say has changed in the way that you approach with your writing? I think what's cool about this tour is that we wrote a lot of our second album on the road. Mm. So we just had acoustic guitars and we'd go into each other's rooms and write. Um, I think we're going to do a lot of that this tour. So, I, you know, we're going to take a little, like, um, mobile recording rig. And it's just, like, sometimes I feel like what the modern day writing is that everyone sort of sits in a studio and it's very sort of, we need to write a song now. And it's sort of scheduled writing. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah. Whereas the, I think that what's cool about being on tour is that any point an idea comes, you can just get it down. And we're always together the whole time for a long amount of time. So um, I think actually uh, writing on this this you know, this next tour is going to be quite similar to the way it used to be, um, yeah. which I'm quite sure. I mean, we're going to have a little room backstage as well, like a little live room. Yeah. We can have uh, oh, like a practice room really nice. before we go yeah, on stage. Yeah, yeah. We'll kind of get together and make some music before we go on to the stage. Yeah. And I think that's going to be really cool to kind of be a band in a room again. You know, rather than be a band in a studio, yeah. kind of before you know it, you're writing a song with a track being built in the background, yeah. and like it kind of, it kind of, before you know it, you're locked into something. You know, like because you, it's on the computer and that's what you're writing to. Whereas I miss that kind of, I really miss that organic feeling well, of being in a room, yeah, it's always, yeah, it's writing always, something. It's, it's always better when you can write a song, yeah, and write it without worrying about recording it immediately, mm. because you can think about the song a little bit and mm. you can like you know i mean i'm not saying that there has to be that way i'm just saying that like it's nice to be able to let the writing process breathe a little bit and yeah. for, uh, you know like if we're in the same place and we're thinking about writing trying things because when you're trying things you can easily just change it up or change things kind of like with the instrument in your hand rather than as soon as it starts to go into the computer and it starts to become like a track, I think you start to go into production world. And, and producing yeah. and writing, I do feel like have their own, they have their, they're their own thing. Mm. You know? mm. Speaking of backstage, I always ask musicians what's on their rider. And how it's changed over the years. Yeah. So, what, what, what was on your riders changed. back in the day? Uh, my, my rider was just beer and fags. Fags. <laughs> but I, I did. I did. Um, I did. Um, on the last busted tour of two thousand and four, I had a brand new pair of Calvin's every show. Shut up. Because I, I would always put, put, what, like, Calvin? Calvin Klein pants. Oh really? Because because <laughs> I was like I never used to get my washing done. I'd be like. You know, I come off the stage, I'd be like, oh, I haven't got any clean pants to put on. So I had a pair of clean pants every gig, which is great. Oh, could I want to be you when I'm older? But that was in 2004. <laughs> That's not happening now. Yeah. You know, now I do my washing like a big boy. Yeah. But um, <laughs> in the day, I just, I just never got that stuff done. So I'd be like, oh, I've got to go home. I feel like pants. Charlie used to have a plate of cheese. Or oh, Matt used to have a plate I of cheese. I still have a plate of cheese. Was it, was, didn't yeah. you, was it you in the beginning that started that trend? Yeah, I started What, just, that a, just a rant, just a plate What's of cheese? What's on cheese? Cheese, cheese, cheese board, man. Oh, a cheese, cheese board. board. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Doesn't well, cheese really slightly eat... affect your vocal well, cords? Also, I never used to eat it. I just felt like it really does. grown up. I'm not sure about cheese. Oh. Well, maybe it does, but I've... chocolate. But, well, it's obviously worked well for you guys either way. Chocolate coats the... That's what I'm saying. I thought the cheese slightly coats the... Maybe, Probably. What do I know? I mean, we never used to eat it. More of an after show thing with cheese, I think. Yeah. It just looked grown up. What, what, like, what, cheese, what, what sort of cheese are we talking? Well, well, they had loads of weird cheese, which I never ate. I just set the boss on. <laughs> yeah, I set that on Gregor's rock. I, lo I love it, blue cheese. Oh, yes. Uh, I, love it. I love a good uh, Comte. Oh, I it, love how, a com you... Comte. Comte, yeah. Oh, I love a Comte. Um, I love a Comte. <laughs> Is well. that blue cheese? No. no, no it's like, like, it's it's like, like a French a, hard cheese, yeah, but it's... It's like Gruyere. Yeah. It's unbelievable. It oh, yeah. Oh, I can't so stand good. blue cheese. It's the one thing. What, the only thing I will not eat. Yeah, I didn't used to. But then it's suddenly, it's, it's suddenly it's disgusting. Me. Oh, yeah. Now I can it's go like, seriously that's not blue. food. Oh no! Like, it, in it, any other food, if it was mouldy, you would not eat it. Well, but but cheese, yeah, but you know, you know, the mould is actually really good for you. Right? The mould is really good, good for you. you. Good it doesn't feel good in my mouth. It makes <laughs> that's wild. Yeah, because if you saw blue on your bread, you wouldn't eat it. Well, you should. Um, you I, I've, should. Been, I've been known to scrape off a few things and put it right in the toaster. You can eat blue. You can eat mouldy bread, right? I or think I'm. I'm. I, I, mm, I. I would personally scrape off the blue bits. It depends it how desperate I am. Also, yeah. 
Because obviously some mouldy food is terrible to eat. Well, also you think about fermented things that are really fashionable now. Kimchi is fermented yeah, cabbage. I like oh, I all. love. Oh, I hate that. Really? I love all that stuff. Oh, man. I love I it. Love Kefir. Everyone. That's I very good for you. Yeah, my wife's very into that. Yeah. Drinking that. Wow. <laughs> well, she, she actually, my wife actually makes her own. I'm learning uh, so much. Kefir. Like with, really? With, with her, she got the um, the mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She makes yeah. It every day. Really apple nice. cider vinegar, very good for you because day. it's got yeah. the mother in the. I have that every yeah. day. Yeah, no, I, I know about apple cider vinegar. It's very it's, good because they. Um, I actually have it they now. Put just... it, they, 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 they put it in some of the juices. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's written on the. It's written on the side. It's actually done wonders for my knowledge of like you know stuff that you know. I actually stuff. quite like the taste of that now. Wait, well, uh, uh, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. very good for you. Yeah, I'd like quite you should have it as like a spoonful of it every morning or something. Yeah, yeah, or in, in water, I just have it in water and ice, a yeah. little bit of nutmeg, a little bit of uh, Cajun spice, Ooh, and I'd some squeezed that. lemon. Wow, it's very good. Interesting. Oh, gosh. Okay, so wait. So let's just go back to the wider. So we're having a cheese board. Uh, no, now. Oh, okay, right, we're not going to do a cheese board. I'm going to do a cheese board. Okay. Yeah. Charlie's is cheese board, some wine. Cheese board, wine, some beer. Cheese board, wine, some beer. Mine is protein powder, a blender, some blueberries. And a selection of protein bars. James's is Umbungo <laughs> and Cadbury's Marvelous I'm Creations. I'm done. Yeah. By, <laughs> I'm done. By Umbungo. Thing is, and the thing is, so they I, still sell Umbungo. I know. Yeah. And you know sure. They don't. James has it imported. <laughs> but yours <somewhere>. crazy. <laughs> yeah. What's crazy? When we were on our last tour in 2019, we were all driving from one show to another. And there was a huge lorry with the all the same artwork that you see on Mbongo cartons all over the lorry. I was like, I have never seen that anywhere before in my life. Oh, like, my the only one in the world. Where do you see yeah. an Mbongo lorry? This like one that's Mbongo got driver. the artwork on the side of it. Like it just, just doesn't exist. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, that lorry is full with Mbongos. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it still exists. It must still exist. It does well, look James good. has on the rider. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I don't you know where they're going to They're currently wanna... filtering it as we exactly. speak. I do want to take it a bit more. Seriously though, because I, I do want those things on the rider. I do. It's comforting to see those things when you show up to different venues. But I would like some some and chocolate. Some serious, like dairy milk. I would like some serious things. Okay, you know? like, like what? What's, yeah. What's, what's your serious things, James? You know, like something. Some juices for me one. Like a well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if, 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 if it was here, I would. I would ask for that. But like, yeah. I mean, you know, like something that was like, you know, like. Stuff that's good, you know. I do want to have good. He things. still hasn't actually given us an answer. No, what yeah, good things do you, want to you know, like know you know, healthy is. things. Like you know, seaweed. No, not seaweed. Oh, I love seaweed. Like, like, like. Oh, I mean, even though that is good. Like, what about like you know, just kind of, just some chicken breast from Marks and Spencer's we've or had something. That we've had we've had warm chicken breast. Yeah. yeah. Just we've, had, we've had a whole kitchen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, something like that. Every, but also, yeah, kid, we? maybe yeah, some like sandwich making materials. Okay. With like good things. Okay. On it, I should probably ask I mean, that's, for that. That's excellent. A rotisserie chicken with loads of sandwich yeah. making. Yeah. That sounds delicious. Like a, like a cutting board and a knife and okay. like just some things so I can yeah. make myself a good sandwich. You want a good yeah. little setup? James, little... We, we should do. We should do that. We should do. Can that. we do we that? Should, yeah. We should can we get that. some stuffing on there as well? <laughs> Yeah, like stuffing. chicken and stuffing sandwich, brilliant. Yeah, and 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 maybe you know, like uh, like I like to sometimes put uh, crisps in my sandwich. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah, here yeah, for that. Know. And you know, like okay, like nothing. Okay, I this is what I would probably make right now because I'm hungry now. Okay, so if I was backstage come. now, I would want to make like a peanut butter sandwich that had chicken and crisps in it, and maybe a layer of cheese in it. I would do that, and that's tasty. Cheese and peanut butter. Hold yeah. on, do you know what? I, I'm actually quite liking this. Yeah, I mean, I do think it works. I what, do what think crisps and chicken. Well, okay, like peanut butter, cheese. Oh, that's crazy. Crisps and chicken would be an amazing. Peanut combo. butter and chicken. Peanut chicken. Oh, yeah, but then th exactly chicken. that's yeah. what I, at yeah. first I was yeah, like, yeah, mm, yeah, and then yeah, yeah. I, I do think like as a combo, that would, that would that would serve me. Okay, quite well. can I ask you something? Have you ever had marmite and peanut butter? Um, I've got no. the actual combined peanut butter marmite. Is that supposed to be good? It's unbelievable. So sure I've been heard that recently. It is. It I, I sometimes eat it out of the jar. Really? It is the best combination you've ever had in your is life. Is it? Yeah, I'm but doing that make sure make sure you get the crunchy peanut butter. Crunchy peanut butter and marmite. Yeah, but you can actually just buy it. It's an actual thing. Where do you buy it? You uh, from Ocado. Why? Right. Okay. Great. Right, so that's, it's, on, that's it's, on the rider. It's, it's so someone, else, yeah, honestly, someone else had the same reaction you just had. And I was it's like, How can phenomenal. It a lot of people will say they actually prefer to put it on themselves. Yeah. So they get their own ratio. Yeah. But ah. 
because it's mm. it's very it's salty, but it's got that sort of so, slight sweetness. Oh, I'm into it. It is, is it so good. In the jar? I mean, is it? No, it's, it looks like mixed. peanut butter. So how are they able to judge the? How are they able to control the ratio by spreading it themselves? Are they like just... James wouldn't be able to deal with this? He'd have to do the no. Ratio okay, so you're going to need both individual you might yeah. jars because you said people like to do it that way. Yeah, but I, I quite like how they have already oh, mixed it, it in, in the, the jar. So yeah, yeah. So that they are selling it as a Mate, the, it's a peanut butter. It, no, sorry, it's the Marmite brand with peanut butter. So it's Marmite are making their own peanut butter. Yes, right. genius. They so also have you tried all the other Marmite things they've done? They've done Marmite hummus. Really? They've done Marmite cheese, yeah, I've which that. is I've phenomenal. That. It's like little that. mini baby I'm bells. I'm I'm great. I'll, I'll, I, I, yeah. I like Marmite uh, Marmite pasta. Right. Really? Yes. Is this is a thing. Yeah. Just ba basically, just put a massive slab of butter in a pan, and then uh, melt it down. Put loads of marmite in, and then sort of just put the yeah. spaghetti in. It's Look like at us! Oh, we're so colourful. Really? Yeah, like a <laughs> <laughs> it's like a what? Sorry. <laughs> like a marmite also, marmite, marmite, marmite crispy issue. chicken bites. That yes, they sell really, those in yeah. a lot of Asian restaurants. Really? Yeah. And then I wow. they put a bit of Parmesan on top. Oh, lovely. Yeah. So oh, well, so I'm, glad, I'm glad that we're all uh, Marmite fans. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Um, so I have to ask, you know, I would say in my eyes, my favorite song of, of, of yours is The Year 3000. Obviously, one of your most successful hits. What are your predictions for The Year 3000? I think we, we're going to be in, you know, 900 years, like modern day prophets. I think people are going to look back and go, these boys. Like, they knew. You know, I love that that's your pr first that's, prediction that's, for the year 3000 is yeah. how we're going to be perceived. People are going to be, you know, <laughs> we're going to be basically gods. People are going to be okay. praying to us. Here for you know, it. I think so. You oh know, I think God. we're pretty on the money. Okay. I think, we'll, I think we'll definitely have a big colony on Mars. I think we'll have a col colony on the moon. I think we might have found a place to live, which isn't our planet, which is like our planet, but I think they'll still be figuring out how to get there when our world eventually is consumed by the sun, which will happen. What do you think? There'll be some people that will have been alive for a very long time. A lo longer than, like, what people... Yeah, well, like 300 yeah. In the year 3000, there will be, like, I think, 350-year-old people. Yeah. Do you think that? Yeah. yeah I think, I think Elon I, Musk, yeah. like, the stuff Elon Musk is saying about sort of putting a human mind into a computer... So you know you are your own mind, but you're just you leave your body. The truth that could have happened by the, then, the, maybe. The, the thing is, is that there's already so much stuff. I mean, like for, when people die now, everyone leaves behind like this, and it's got like our thoughts. It's got our uh, everything. You know, it's got so, a big part of us is in our phones now. Mm. It's almost like you could dock your phone with your tombstone, and people could go and visit you at the graveyard. I mean, <laughs> like actually, I actually yeah, like. I mean, you have an AI version yeah. of yourself talking yeah. back to them. Well, I mean, this yeah. is what I think. When, when, when old, great. when old, when old people die, right? So much. Think about the knowledge that dies with some of your grandparents, especially the ones that kind of had a craft. Like if that one, you know, like you know, woodwork or carpentry, like some, you know, you, it would be really cool to be able to that knowledge could still be available to people because old people are the wisest a lot, you know? Mm. So it's like, so, and, and I also feel like we're definitely going to have made contact with uh, aliens. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. That, 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 I mean, it's, I, and I think that's just, there's like so much, like, I think because of the way everyone's got a, a way to record now, when the, when the Apple thing comes out, we're, we're going to, you know, be able to blink and just record it instantly. We're enough. Now you've got that time to get your phone out your pocket to, capture stuff and you could just think it's it just, and it will just automatically yeah people are going to be able to capture yeah. things and everything's going to be it's going to be everyone's going to, have to be really careful yeah, <laughs> yeah. i think it sounds pretty we're all going to start no yeah. remember that film with our mel gibson what women want and he yeah. could he could read women's minds yeah. Yeah. i think it's going to get to a point where we're going to end up being able to read every we're going to know everything yeah yeah, yeah. that's not a good place scary. To be. no it's a very scary yeah, yeah. place to be i mean i was just uh, sam harris talk about this, this i don't want to take you back to 2001 <laughs> yeah <laughs> When you wrote the song and he didn't realise where we yeah. were going to be it's, heading. It's yeah. funny. It's like what's so funny is that like that that song Robbie Williams had Millennium. Yeah. I I feel like that song we owe a lot to that song because I think that uh, the millenni the Millennium uh, idea was like the thing that got the focus on the Millennium and then it was like oh how do you do Millennium in an original way mm. you know. 
like year 3000. Yeah, the next one. Yeah, the <laughs> yeah. Ne- yeah. Let's shoot for the next millennium. And that was kind of how we arrived at that title. Also, what will be playing, amazing. We're playing the long game. We're waiting for those royalties. Well, I was going to say, I was going to say, yeah. as that clock's turning, yeah. this is going to be the song that's going to be played. So. Uh, yeah. It was like and when great, Prince great, did great 19... We'll be very rich. But it's yeah. like when <laughs> Prince did... <laughs> exactly, yeah, I know. But you'll still... Maybe you might still be alive. You might be able to come exactly. back to life at exactly. that point. Exactly. Right. I'm freezing well, my head. Yeah. <laughs> I think what do you think we're going to be eating? I think we're going to be in pill form. Yeah, really, yeah, maybe. yeah. But I, I mean, that's how sad is that? Yeah. Oh, oh, horribly sad. But I mean, I know what you're saying. That they'll be able it's to. Just, they'll be able to put everything that you need yeah, into a nutrients drink. into yeah. a. I mean, I've just started doing this ag green stuff. Oh yes. That. And like, I imagine that they'll make something like that that you don't need to eat again. Yeah. But I mean, I don't want that. I love eating delicious food. I like food. to eat. Yeah, well, I, I like, like to eat. I like, I like to, eat. to play. And the question is, um, what do you think your great 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 granddaughter looks like? Ooh. This, uh, to, be fair, she have, to be fair, she to be fair, let's just figure, let's just figure <laughs> this out. She what? Triple breasted. <laughs> yeah, you know, so you're going for the year three thousand. Can we just figure out how many greats it actually is? I, I'm not sure if it's accurate enough. So is it, great, uh, so is it, is it great? Is it great every hundred years? So it's nine. It's nine greats, wasn't it? No, because you would have like yeah. multiple generations in a hundred years. So for, for 20 grades, I mean, but I think if you've got 350 year old people, I mean, I think it comes yeah, down. Yeah, a true. Yeah, exactly, man. I, 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 I just think three, that, three grades a stretch. Yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> very optimistic with three grades, but you know. Yeah. And you know, you, you, you know, the thing is, is, um, you know, in maths, when you do recurring numbers, you only have to do three and then you can put a dot above the third one, can't you? So, oh, okay. So, oh. so like that, that's very intellectual, James. So, so it's a little bit like... <laughs> oh, is that all that LA thinking? Yeah. <laughs> no, I hadn't that's been to Los L1 Angeles when I was 16. I was still in Essex with Matt. <laughs> well, it must what? have been that Essex water then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, everyone learns that at school. It's like GCSE maths. So it's like, um, but it's funny how like, you know, the three... I thought I, I just think that it's funny because you get the picture, but you know it's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, yeah. It's, yeah. you know it's so far off. So I'm not going to sit here and try and justify it any longer. <laughs> so it's like, I can't wait to see what she looks like, to be honest. Yeah. I think she's going to be I'm pretty fine. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> I, 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 I feel like um, I feel like it's funny because people talk about that part of the song. And if anything, it's one of the things that has helped uh, make people talk about the song. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. really weird how that happens. I saw a comedian breaking it down on stage recently. No I way. Was um, yeah, yeah. Um, I can't remember his name. I've loved about the great thing, it's really funny. Is it? Yeah, he talks about the uh, he talks about our song and the and the errors in it. Oh yeah! Oh wow! And, um, <laughs> and he breaks it down really specifically, and it's genius. It's like, oh, it's like, I'd okay, love to so watch let's that. Talk about this. Let's talk about this girl. Yeah. It blows. Yeah. It yeah. Down, <laughs> like, how old brilliant. she is? Yeah. You know, I'm like, it's so. Funny. It blows my mind how it blows my mind how the song, like how it can be part of a comedian's set or people like have got some kind of like joke that they want to tweet about or like there'll be a climate change protest in America and people have, uh, you know, big billboards so they know, busted right. alluding to climate change yeah. or like, it's just, Oh my God. Yes, of course. Yeah. This is what I'm saying. That's what, it was kind of ahead of its time. The song in I'm a saying. way. We're, we're and it also profit. shows you, you know, from, so you said you wrote it in what like year? 2000. Around okay. 2000, yeah. So in 23 years, look how far we've come in technology, in the way we think, in the way the world is, the way the things we're worried about that we were never talking about yeah. then. Well, was anyone talking about climate change in 2000? Are they probably sure. were. I mean, Al, Al Gore started the conversation. I'm, yeah, sure, yeah, Gre- I'm sure Greta was Thunberg was yeah, talking yeah, about yeah, it in the womb or something. Like, at the time. Yeah, but he was always about climate change, wasn't he? Was no, it, I, we I, were I, talking I about remember, climate change. I remember that, that Al Gore did that documentary. Um, do you remember? The Inconvenient yeah. Truth. Yeah. That's the first time I was ever made aware of climate change and that, I think that was about the same time mm-hmm. um, I mean I remember must... being at school being taught how to like um, recycle a can you had to tread on it and then yes. fold the two bits into each other yes. to put in there do you remember that Who and then that? also the water bottles yeah. You and they, yeah, they yeah. made oh. the Evian bottle so yeah. that you could, you could squash, squash them down, down. And, and, and water world. do you remember the film water world with Kevin Costner yes where he said the ice caps have melted yeah. like that like his his but that like, was... I, I remember thinking that's ridiculous. But that was yeah, always yeah, yeah, yeah. the talk, wasn't it? Though it was always about the ice caps melting. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. that was the yes. angle and, they uh, always in, took it in. Yes, yeah, but, that, but that's what that's what they're saying. Would yeah, happen, and right? in, um, yeah. in Independence Day, you know, Jeff Goldblum's character is always the one recycling, and I feel like that's when recycling was becoming like a thing. Yeah, 
Um, but there's that film AI, isn't there, where they go thousands of years into the future. I want to watch that again. Into the future. With, um, with, you um, see, like, you see New York City underwater. Mm. And I think that that probably inspired us mm. as well. Yeah. Like that. That was a good film. Yeah. Mm. Well, as I said, I think it's a brilliant song and nice. will stand the test of time, literally, I think. So there we nice. go. So I need to ask, what three items are always in your fridges? Um, well, milk is always in my fridge. And if we run out, it's a disaster. Right. Um, I, my son is obsessed with um, sour cream and chai dip. Oh, so he has chips and dips all yes. the time. So that's always in the fridge. Delicious. And, um, and I love black bomber cheddar oh i love that as well i love it so much and yeah, i have it almost every day so there's always a big chunk of that in the fridge it's beautiful great, you know. charlie um i have milk always it's very dairy heavy my fridge isn't it That's actually right. yeah. yeah i mean milk is always in the fridge um zero uh sugar um you know fanta uh which is not great but i just love fanta zero sugar mm -hmm. fanta. Char yeah, charlie fanta zero. charlie is a sipper Oh, yeah. So, so, so a can open, will last me a day. He'll open a can of Fanta, he'll have two sips, put it back in the fridge, and then go back like an hour later and go, hmm, delicious, <laughs> and put it back in the fridge, and then keep going back through the day and having little sips yeah. of this can. I'm like, so dude. A can will last me a day, which is quite good. <laughs> is it not flat by the end of the day? Yeah, it's fine. I like flat. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right. I, I, you mean, a little in, sippy sippy, did you, you, you do, Yeah, yeah, I love a sippy Very sippy. sustainable <laughs> of you. Yeah, yeah. And then I like slices of um, either salami or chorizo. Oh, delicious. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I... Uh, I like to keep drinks in the fridge. Yeah. And um, and I, I try, this isn't always the James's case. James's fridge I is very I, bare. I try to have watermelon in my fridge. Okay. Like a, like a slice That's of healthy. it. That's healthy. Yeah, I try to have that because I like it. Um, Every but, time I've been to your house, your fridge is completely bare, apart from some random fizzy water with yeah. fruit in it. And maybe, yeah. a, maybe a dip. Yeah, yeah, drinks. A dip, a dip. And some cold cake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, I, I, my, yeah, I, I, I'm just, you know what it is? I'm just so not a stocker upper. Yeah. No. Yeah. And I, and, 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 and I never have been. And I don't think I ever will be. That's but okay. You do you. I know. But the thing is, is like, I do, I do. There's no close. waste in James's house. Yeah. Well, there we go. You're yeah, just, no I, I, and, do you know what I found as well? I, Whenever I do like, you know, and it's out of character, but it'll be like sometimes, oh, should I buy some shopping, right? <laughs> when I do, I always end up throwing so much of it yeah. away. Yeah, it's true. That, that is and, a problem. And, and, and a problem. So, so in a way, I'm, you know, I'm doing my part for the environment. And, Absolutely. You know. That's okay. No judgment here. Yeah. Right. I finish my conversations with a few quick fire questions that okay. never become the most unquick fire questions. So we're going to go around the table. I'm going to start with James, actually. What is the craziest food you've ever eaten? Craziest is in like, like on there. out there. Sea urchin. Nice. No. Charlie. Uh, horse. Oh wow. Okay. Where was that? Uh, in in Siberia. Nice. Uh, it was alright. Matt. I a kangaroo's anus. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. Genuinely did. And a crocodile penis. You win the game. Yeah. You win. It, it's not my problem. What was your favorite? What, what was your favorite out of the two? Um, the penis was easier to eat than the anus. <laughs> I mean, anus there's so much I could say. To, quite hard to eat. It's quite a, it's quite a mouthful. Okay. Yeah. Can you give us kind of well, a, a flavour profile? Lots of, lots of fur on it. No, ah. stop. No, no. Ah. It, was, um, it was like a little, you know, like when you get those, like, what was that? What was that sock puppet? You know, like um, who did that Sooty. song? Like, um, <laughs> like uh, uh, fat something, that song. I can't remember. Anyway, it looked like a little puppet's mouth. Like this, hello. Mm -hmm. And I remember looking at it going, oh my God. And I had to eat it. Yeah. It took ages. Mm. Very chewy. Mm. Lovely. Yeah. I think we'll leave that one there. Yeah. Not, I won't be having that anytime soon. No, you sure? No, no, I'm out. absolutely You're fine. Yeah. That wasn't a great thing. Okay. What's been your most memorable meal, Charlie? Oh, that's a tough question. For the food? Could be the food, could be who you were with, where you were. Um, okay, well, I just had um, a most incredible meal mainly for the wine but um me and my brothers went to a restaurant in san sebastian and it has the best wine list i've ever seen in my entire life and we had like a 1964 uh, larry ocarata which was just insane and the food was amazing it was just an amazing night oh i love so that, that was one of my favorite uh, meals i've ever had matt um we i had a date night with my wife when we were on holiday in ibiza and my 
and the grandparents were there, so looked after the kids. We just went to like a local sushi place. It was not mm. popular, so, and it was just like we we hadn't done it in years. Like it'd been years since we'd been without kids or anything, and we just had the most amazing time. And um, the food was pretty good, but it wasn't great. But it was but just it was like yeah. it was just like being out with yeah. her, going, "Oh, we're these people again." <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, yeah. oh, I really like you. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, it was a real kind of dawning moment. Oh, I cool. love that. You know, it was a really special thing. You know, I've always remembered that dinner. Got a picture of her from that dinner Aww. on my phone. Yeah. It's nice. That's very sweet. Yeah. James? Most memorable? Christmas. Christmas meal on 2020. Oh, no, this is good. 2020, 2020, uh, 2021. Like the pandemic Christmas. Yes. By myself, oh. a southwestern chicken wrap in a pitch black car park behind Pink Dot off of Sunset Strip. No cars, nobody there. Literally, I thought that Pink Dot might even be closed, but there was one person in there. And I went in there and I got it. And I remember thinking, this is mad. What about your... What about <laughs> I, remember, I remember thinking, wow. I will never forget that I would never dream that Christmas could ever look like this. Wow. And That's your best. No, most, most memorable. memorable. Oh, most memorable. Yeah, yeah, and I don't think I will ever forget that it. It's a very memorable I, I, meal. That is a memorable yeah. meal. It was so strange. It was like, here I am on Christmas. There's no one here. There's that's no cars. Really, really it's yeah, like yeah. 28 days later, but for some reason, Pink Dot's open. Some reason. Did it taste good? Yeah, it tasted it was Amazing. T- I was so thankful. <laughs> I was so thankful for it. Yeah. You know, but I was just, remember, it was so memorable. It wasn't like it was, it, you know, it tasted good because of, you know, I think that I was hungry, but it was like, it was just, I'm never going to forget that. Yeah. It was like one of those things where you just kind of go, okay. This is then, one for the books. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, the most important question you are all going to get asked today. Okay. My favorite snack of all time is a packet of crisps. What is your favorite flavor of crisps and why? Flavor? Oh, my favorite mm. flavor of crisps. And you are all going to be judged on this, just so it, that you know. It, it, are, we, are we giving the brand as well? You can go full in. Because I will, I'm happy to tell you mine to start things off yeah. is yeah. a pickled onion monster. Oh my god, I was gonna say that you Good. stole mine. Good, great. great. Go. I mean, there Brilliant. is nothing that will there is ever. No, it is the best. It is the it, it is, is the, the best. top tier. And it's it's it's, yeah. it's that yeah, it is. It's the ultimate break time. Yeah. Um, my favorite crisp of all time is uh quite niche, but it's a Spanish company called Torres. You heard yes. Of the Iberian ham. Yes. It's Outrageous. <laughs> Such a Charlie answer. I love it. <laughs> it is so good. I love it. I remember, I remember, I remember back in the day, we got asked quick fire questions, like in an interview, and we got asked for our favorite sandwich filling, and we kind of just went like chicken, ham. Charlie went, Chorizo. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's such Darling, a never change. I'm never very changed. much the same. I'm never very much change. the same. Never change. Stay you, brother. <laughs> what um, is it though about the pickled onion? I want that now. That's, um, that's it's, it's my gets wife's stuck favorite. in your teeth. It, it comes out of the pores of your skin. It's so flavorful. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's so, good. so good on hangover. I don't know. I really like. Um, I really like the salt and vinegar twirls from M and S. Oh wow! Like, Again, quite I niche. Them. I love them. They're so they're so salty. Yes. And they make your mouth go. <sighs> yep. They're fantastic. There's also something good about skips. Do you remember those? Yeah. yeah well, they, they melt on your tongue. I tell you yeah. what, also squares frazzle. are really Very salt good. and vinegary. Yeah. I like that. I like a frazzle. Hula hoops. If you, if you like a really strong salt and vinegar, I'm going to let you into a secret. Okay. You have to go to co-op yeah. and get their own brand, Chardonnay vinegar and salt crisps really? i promise you you really? will come up with ulcers in your mouth right they are so good i love it I and i to hurt uh, yeah, oh no this yeah, is yeah. this is pain yeah, and yeah. it's a beautiful pain yeah i love that great please also, go and get some quick well. shout out to pipers because i do love a pipers, love a pipers. The old jalapeno and dill yeah very good. beautiful well, I, I, I beautiful it, I, I was quite amazed because <laughs> do you I see how on, passionate I, I get about yeah. this <laughs> I, was, I was on a british airways flight and you get the pipers in the in the, yes. in the cardboard yeah. box yeah oh god like, yeah well, that's very sustainable it's in the cardboard box open the cardboard box and there's a plastic wrapper to open to get the crisp i was like what's the point in the plastic yeah, yeah, yeah. In, the, in the cardboard box the very good crisp though yeah very good crisp. Very, yeah i love them okay mm. next question what food sums up happiness for you oh that's tough as well lasagna and chips together from a pub okay like, um when i think of like m- when i was a lasagna and a chips teenager when i used to work on a building site and we used to go to this pub i was about 17 and we'd have a pint 
and a lasagna and chips oh, from a pub. Divine. And it was probably terrible, but I um, loved yeah. it. And I always used to think that's going to be my death row dinner. Divine. Oh, pint of I think my happy food is tacos. Yeah. yeah. Back to your Mexican love ways. Love that. Yeah. I love... Oh. Sorry. Mac and cheese. Oh, oh yes. yes. My, no, I've changed my mind. Oh. My, my happiness food is... Um, MLS do chop corn. Have you had that? Ah. What? Oh my god! Oh my god! What? what? It's called chop corn, right? It's a slab of popcorn that has got melted chocolate on the top. Oh yeah, that's good. And it's ah. the most good. insane thing ever. Ah. Like chop corn. And at Easter they do one with like eggs on it and stuff like that. Like it's it's it, it's amazing. It's the best thing ever. You know what? Yeah, there's, there's also people, people people message me out of the blue going, "I hate you for introducing me to chop corn." It's so good because oh I can't gosh. stop eating okay, it. I'm I, have a, I also have a big Achilles heel for. Uh, Ice cream. Okay. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. And just down to vanilla. Yeah. If vanilla is done well, yeah. then yeah. just the most refreshing. Yeah. McConnell's vanilla bean is probably... Oh, is that the one we had in LA? Yeah. That was very, That's very like good. That's like elite. Very, very good. But, the, um, but also, there's a there's actually a... Cho I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like... I like chocolate. And there's a, a, a chocolate... I can't remember they're called like Campare or Campare. Oh, that one with pop popcorn in it? Yeah, at this, they've got one that's called At The Drive-In. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, or it's called The Drive-In or something. And, it's kind uh, of similar to... Is it? Chocolate. And it is. It's, 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 it's chocolate with popcorn in it. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to get you some chocolate. No, no, you don't. Guys, you're making me yeah, salivate. Yeah. Oh, oh, right, okay. As opposed to, as it's a chocolate to, bar with popcorn. Yeah. It's more chocolate to popcorn yeah, ratio. It's, it's, yeah, okay. it's popcorn in chocolate as opposed to chocolate on popcorn. Oh, God, I'm getting hungry. I'm thinking about this. Okay, final question. Sugar at the moment. It's a terrible conversation. On apple pie. As he goes back to his keto life. Apple pie is good. Apple pie from anywhere. Yeah, I like good apple pie and bad apple pie. Okay. I don't think but you can always get... apple pie with ice cream. I think you can yeah. get bad apple so pie. So if there's ever a choice to have cream or ice cream. No, always, always ice, cream. ice cream. You want a cooling agent. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. You, do. you want a I little agree. contrast. Same with and I don't like same custard because um, I know no, people I mean, put I, custard I, I would, on things. I would have things. custard and ice cream. Okay, fine. You know I mean? No judgment, Just, that's fine. cooling agent there. Apple pie. Apple pie. Okay, final question. Let's get a little bit philosophical. Live to eat or eat to live? Oh. Well, it's so hard because eating what, eating what you want makes you live l less long. Because okay. all delicious stuff is not good for you. And, and I'm sorry, but really healthy stuff, you might feel great and all the rest of it, but it's not good to eat. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Dirty, filthy stuff is be awesome it, to it, eat, like but it's not very good for you. People that say, oh, you have to try this vegan thing that I've uh, it's amazing I eat I'm like this is not amazing <laughs> this is fucking shit <laughs> and and you're absolutely drunk if you yeah. think this is any good yeah. you know yeah. like oh it's oh it's amazing it's like no, like, no it's not it's it's yeah. like tastes like fucking yeah cardboard. and whoever invented you know like vegan ice cream needs to be like <laughs> here we yeah. go needs to be evicted immediately <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice vegan bashing yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I just don't like I, I, yeah I just can't get it no, I mean, I, it's fine. I mean, anyone's choice is their own choice. I just think that, and obviously clean living, clean eating is great, but I mean, Vegan. it's not as fun or delicious as yeah. putting a, you know, in and out burger in your mouth. So basically the answer is... Eat to live, eat to but, live. But, but not no, no, no. all the time. Yeah. Yeah. So my, in moderation. Like we're, a bit here of for, we're here, we're here for really a good time, bad. not for a long exactly. time. Exactly. I'm really bad yeah. at moderation. If I'm we knew terrible. we were going to be here to the year 3000, maybe we would be having a little chat about eating healthily. But, yeah. you know. Yeah. I mean, you could but eat... I, I, I eat healthy 80% of the time. Yeah. Then 20% of the time, I go absolutely nuts. Good. And I enjoy every bit. Good. Of it. Yeah, I agree with that. And I, I think, cinema's good for that. Yeah. I think that's... And I, I agree with Matt that that's like, that's the right way to do it. 80%. 80% eat to live, 20% live to eat. If you can sort of have like a, you know, a routine for your diet that is like going to serve you well, but also allow for the 20% when you can do whatever you want. Mm. I've been making scrambled eggs with cottage cheese recently, right? Okay. So scrambled eggs with cottage cheese in it, and it is incredible. Wow. Just to let you know that. Okay, I'm going to try and that. And you know, you can have bunless burgers and they're pretty delicious but also not, my, good, but my, my, not as good but, but my thought is if you're going to have a burger have a goddamn burger don't have a burger yeah. that's wrapped in lettuce or this or well, that like but, but put it into your 20 percent of fun yeah but then but then it makes that 80 percent a bit more bearable sometimes when you can have it but if fun. i want a burger i want the whole i know i know, I know. Experience. But sometimes it's better than nothing yeah right. what's your favorite better food? than a vegan ball um pizza pizza, pizza? I, I think oh, pizza yeah. would be like pizza's 
Amazing. Like, I love pizza. Like I don't like yeah. sharing a pizza. I I, ha I am like yeah. so tunnel like, vision. When, when me and James moved to London, so, yeah. we lived on pizza. Like pizza and pot noodles was our do diet. You, um, do you like New York? Do you go to New York? I used to live in New York. I yeah. love New York. Do you Pizza's know the pizza there. place called Grupo? No. I went yeah. there. Pasto. They, well, they're all the same thing, but they've got different names and they all end in O. Okay. And they're quite nice, kind of like low key, excellent. It's I think is probably the best pizza I've ever had. Thin, thin. Wow. Crust. But yeah. I think I think it's the like that would be a death row meal for me. Yeah. That pizza, but uh, with the house salad that they make. <sighs> Is uh is uh, almost want to go there just to do that. That is like let's go. Place. Take his passport. Let's go. Take his passport. Quickly, yeah. <laughs> He's not going to tour. We're not rehearsing yeah. this weekend. <laughs> Someone take his passport. Well, listen, guys. Let's end on the the lovely subject of pizza. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. Wishing you the you, best of luck with Thank everything you. that's I'm so coming hungry. up. Uh, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm starving. So now, I'm I would so love hungry. to come and share a cheese board with you backstage one day. Yes. Love that. Um, and honestly, I'm, I'm excited for everything that's coming your way. Cool. Thanks, Thanks so, so much. much. Thank Thanks you. So Until next time. See you later. Thank you for listening. If you love what you hear, please subscribe and review. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Crazy Sexy Food and check out the Crazy Sexy Food YouTube channel. Until next time. Bye.